Island. Early love, Philip. Originally from Cuba, now. Got to go with that. Oh. I think he would be considered up there with the groups like that, and they're at them, probably Joel Casamoy or. Okay, get some of the Cuban five points, go accumulating points. Straight left hand, and Kennedy buckled. He buckles again on another one. And Tion Kennedy may have trouble staying on his feet here in the first round if he keeps taking the kinds of shots that Regan Dye is putting on him now. Kennedy fires back. Russell Moore was watching, and now the glove. Leon seems to land them. He score a knockout, and he's placing and mixing up his left hands. He's primarily a def And, you know, he's studied. Next time, I'm a throw it That's a great point, man. He has swept it. He has thrown it as an upper call of the various ways. In we see the push that started to follow, which was a left hand after he let Kennedy throw a right, and he counted over. But what was all of his punches he was shadowed with very clearly well-placed punches, and probably about 80% landed, which is very unusual. Even though Kennedy has his defense up, he still found ways to get between the shots out of the gloves. That look shows you that the left canvas, that's why it was in the uh, entire round. It's just an accuracy and experience in a very good fight. You heard uh, Pacquiao called that fight. And, you know, southpaw with punching Stop. power and defense. Stop. Tough fight. It was only his seventh fight. Referee uh, Russell Moore a moment ago did a good lore. He had to move quickly to do it. Left on the side. There's the left uppercut. Doesn't use... Fascinating the way he set up the uppercut, and there's a perfect straight... Firing mistakes, no card. Rigado is studying in one. He almost went down on two separate occasions in the first round. Oh, right there. Another combination on an uppercut, and there's the third knockdown of the fight. Just placing his punches very well, anticipating the position of Kennedy's right hand. We went directly through the center of this. Kennedy was jabbing, and now he comes right back with another one of them straight through the center again. And here we see the next knockdown, which is right on the side of the head. Just as Kennedy was punching himself and left himself slip. Deion Kennedy has been knocked first round, uh, first two rounds. Gary Russell Jr. Gandia Rigando is in that category. I agree with you 100%. No, 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 no. Great assessment. Fighter. I managed a fighter below. I try to avoid those three. Two of them are southpaws. Russell has extraordinary polished south. Him and Rigando. Dominating. Against Donair. And they're... Professionals, according to the record. I'm all for Riggin, though. So who knows? Those three, I think, are. The <laughs> but I think in terms of that below the other guy that I just mentioned. Neutralize the attack. Rhythmic left hand. Four. They have. It. You know, Joe, I got three to nothing. Thirty to twenty-four into this fight. Guillermo deserves an extra point in round number one. Aggressively coming forward to try to get you. All the time. And that comes a lot from too many amateur fights, too. Oh, don't let him go. Let him go. Don't hold him. More of a professional style. Since I'm going to challenge him. He's not throwing it with real force. Point. He saves the room. He's throwing the first round. with all. Gendow's full and threw a perfect power shot that knocked Kennedy down. Yeah, he's trying to keep his seven position apart. Knockdown number four. Every one of them on a straight left hand. Kennedy told the referee that Rigado had stepped on his in addition to getting hit with a beautiful left hand. So legally it was still a knockdown. If the referee didn't see or didn't consider that he stepped on his foot. Is there any rule about that? You know, Rigado being hit on a jab sometimes. This is Jim. And now he rehearses punches again. That extent before, it's not a feint. He's not... Tricking the guy. Knockdown That's number it. five. Good stoppage. Pulled a knockdown. He was knocked down five times in this fight. Yeah, that might count for two losses, Jim. I don't know, but that was a dominant, dominant win. Yep. Love touched the canvas, so indeed, five knockdowns in the fight. And it no really serious, serious bad condition. Just he couldn't avoid getting hit with those clean precision punches coming from the I'm reminded of the night that Floyd Mayweather knocked down Diego Correa. Bantamweight. 183 throw.